And welcome back to the Murdy Creative Co. Podcast. I'm your host, Colin Murdy, and today's topic is newly redesigned binders. But first, I want to say thank you to everyone who supported the company so far. If you haven't got a chance, go check us out on the web at murdycreative.co. That's M-U-R-D-Y creative.co. Or you can check us out on Facebook and Instagram by searching at murdycreative.co to see the best of our product shots. Follow us to keep up to date with our daily photos and be the first one to know about new product launches. You can also use the subscribe button at the bottom of our website to be included in all of our new product announcements. Be sure to check out our laser engraving, personalization options, and exclusive colors on our website, or you can get a blank one on Amazon Prime. All right, so first and foremost, I want to say thank you to everyone who has been participating in the sale that we have going on. It has been an amazing, amazing thing for us. We've been so excited about launching these new binders, but one thing that was holding us back was all of the tons of inventory that we had on the shelf. So we are so excited for all of you who've been able to purchase those things and get those things cleared off on the shelf uh, to make room for the new stuff, which we're very excited about. A brief little intro about what the kind of why the change was brought about. So this May, I had the first opportunity I've had since the inception of this company to take some time off and to step away and think through what what are we about? Like, what is the purpose of this business? Like, what are we doing? And it brought a lot of great points. Like, I really... I really took some time to think through the vision and what I was hoping for with the future of the company. And, you know, one of the things that really came to me was... We've been pushing and launching and creating new products and doing a lot of innovation, but we haven't spent very much time focusing on the core products and what they mean and how can we improve those. So I sat down and I looked at our binder line and we have five options on our website right now. And I thought to myself, you know, a lot of these don't, designs don't sell particularly well. And why might that be? And it dawned on me as I was looking at it, as I was thinking through it, that it's too complicated. There's too many options. There's too many things that are different about each one. And it's, it's confusing to people, right? You don't want to buy the wrong one. That's a reasonable point. They're expensive, right? But at the same time, you know, it's, it's hard to know what the right stuff is. So I sat down and I said, how can we capture the features of those products into a fewer set of binders? So I came up with these two. We have redesigned the slim cut and the wide cut binder. The slim cut binder and the wide cut binder will both have spines that are designed to hold up to 200 at 20 pound pieces of paper. With the wide cut, it's a little trickier because page protectors aren't quite 20 pound and actually their weight can vary quite a bit. So whether it can actually hold 200 individual sheets of page protectors, that's a little different. Um, but if it was holding just regular sheets of paper, it could hold up to 200 regular sheets of paper. It can, has a, and, and as you can see here, it's, it, it gets pretty thick. It's a, it's a very hefty binder, and it has a really, really nice capacity that's very comfortable in hand. That specific capability of holding up to 200 pages was designed intentionally to get rid of the script cut. So now, rather than having a script cut and all of the other ones, our slim cut and our wide cut will be able to hold the same number of pages. Additionally, we had the pen cut. Now, what we're doing with this one is we are redesigning it so that the specific pen cut is actually a notch in the spine. And that notch in the spine allows for the pen to be stored very, you know, subtly behind the page block itself. Now, what this really means is that theoretically, and this is not a feature that we're really currently supporting, but theoretically, it may be able to go past 200 pages if additionally, and you know, there were longer posts to be used, it wouldn't be able to hold the pen with more than 200 pages, though. That's that's a feature. But the, the thing is that with the 200 pages, you can still hold the pen in the, in the spine there. And actually, there's technically it matches top and bottom. So you could technically hold two pens if you wanted to in the spine as well. So that gets rid of the pen cut. Now, for those of you who love the pocket cut and want the pocket cut, we are getting rid of the pocket cut and there won't be pockets necessarily built into these designs. However, the wide cut is capable of holding page protectors, tabs, scrapbook, you know, pages as well. And so it'll be able to then hold the plastic inserts that have pockets in them. So you'll be able to have that maintain that functionality in the wide cuts themselves. So with that, we'll be simplifying the entire binder line down to just two variations on the binder themselves. I think that's going to make things a lot more clear for people. And we're going to hopefully as additionally have some more information on the website about the specifics of what it takes to, you know, what the differences are between them with line art and dimensions and some more details along those lines. So I'm really excited about these designs. The plan is to have all of the pre-engravings that we currently have 
maybe some of them will go in and out of season. So it, I, I should obviously, you know, caveat this. That might change. But our hope is to have a good portion of the pre-engravings that we currently offer on our binders to be available in the same format on our new binders. That won't change. Um, and we will have on Amazon, some of the older stock will probably continue to sell on Amazon for those of you who like that older stock, even as time goes on. And uh, eventually we'll slowly phase out the Amazon stock and include the new stuff on Amazon. And at that point, we'll obviously update the descriptions to reflect the new design. So with that in mind, one of the things that people always ask, and it's really a good question, is how do you change out the pages in the binders? And it's relatively simple. It's pretty straightforward. And I want to demo it here so you guys know how to do it. So first and foremost, obviously, you need to take your binder and the specifics of your binder, like regardless of which binder you have, it should be the same. Um, it gets a little trickier depending on obviously the, the what you have in the binder. So that might matter. But for the most part, the, the process is the same. First thing you do is you take you put one your forefinger or your thumb, whatever's easier on the smooth front part of the uh, post itself. You either insert your fingernail if it's not tightly screwed in or you insert a screwdriver and you begin to unscrew the posts themselves. Now once you get it started you should be able to just twist it with your fingers. That that shouldn't be very difficult. And then you can remove both the post and the screw together. Now it, obviously you repeat this for all of the various different screws and what you'll realize is that some of them, the alignment might change a little bit of the pages as you remove posts. Once you start to remove posts, the pages might slip a little. So a good firm, you know, grip with the rest of your hand can really help keep the pages in line and in that specific way that you want them so that they don't shift in the binder. So once you removed all of the posts, you can then open the book up. And obviously you can remove the individual posts themselves. You can take the pages out. Now, for those of you who want to switch thicknesses of pages, I had the script in that particular design, but if you wanted to switch to something like computer graph paper or something along those lines, what you'd need to do is you'd then need to switch the posts you're using to a smaller set, and the new, po new binders will come with multiple sets of posts. I think they're going to plan on coming with four, so it'll be able to adapt from 40, uh, 0 to 40, 40 to 80, 80 to 120, and 120 to 200 pages. What you'll then do is you'll then take the post section with the binder open, face down, you'll take the posts and you'll put the posts on the front. And obviously this can be adapted depending on, you know, which one, which type of style you prefer. But I just find this particular way easier. Some of our uh, team members find it a little easier to do it a different way. So, you know, if you are, you know, if you'd like to do it differently, obviously the posts operate the same way regardless of essentially how you put them together. So you add your paper back in and as you add the paper back in, if you're able to add all of it in at once, that's obviously easier because then you don't have to line up the pages, but that may not always be possible or practical. So the, really the key is to be able to have the paper and the posts line up so that the posts themselves are as flush as possible with the top of the, of the, um, the paper stack once it's all laid down. Alternatively, and this is something that matters a lot, you can actually go quite a bit thicker with your pages. So. As you can see here, we've got the post is lined up flush and I could just flip that over and screw it in. Alternatively, I can add a whole big old stack of additional pages to the stack without problems. And as long as it's lined up so that you can see all the way through to the base of the stack, you can then press down, you fold the top back over, you line up the leather hole with that and then you can insert the post. And then you can take your screwdriver or your thumb, whichever you prefer, and you just wanna make sure that you get it screwed down nice and tight. Now, I will say that if you use a screwdriver rather than your fingernail to screw it down, it will be very difficult at that point to just use your fingernail to get it undone. Um, just because of the nature of the screwdriver, it's able to essentially, you know, set the, the screw post a little tighter than your, your fingernail might be able to. So, you know, that's something to keep in mind. But once you get it put in there, you can obviously have a different thickness of pages and that can adapt pretty drastically. You can actually adjust it quite significantly without much trouble. That works with both our slim cut and our wide cut. One of the things to remember with the wide cut is if you're using page protectors, they don't, they, they slip, they're very slippery. They slide around a lot. So you don't want them to necessarily um, slide a little bit. So that can be a tricky challenge. But if, as long as you gris, grasp them pretty tightly and you've got them, um, you know, organized, it definitely is a lot easier to just insert them. So now you've got your boat, your book put back together with your new posts and your new thickness. And now you've got new pages and everything. And it's as simple as that. One of the things to keep in mind with the new designs as well is that they themselves are 
pretty capable of of doing a lot of different things. They can be reports, they can be um, photo albums, scrapbook albums, they can be used for just notebooks, they can hold um, all sorts of different things. So it's really what your mind can come up with, right? It's as, it's as limited as your imagination. So we're hoping to do a whole series where we're going to just showcase all of the many different uses of these and everything from, like I said, cookbooks to photo albums to to corporate reports and everything be in between. So um, stay tuned for that. We're really hoping to have that and that'll be very exciting. But this is how you can, uh, the, new, the new design, and it'll showcase that well and as well as how to change out the posts. All right, everyone, thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Be sure to check back in tomorrow for, or, sorry, on Thursday for our next topic. And don't forget to check that subscribe button below to be sure to get the latest podcast right away. If you have questions or concerns about your leather binder, your journal, your folio, your mask, your accessory, whatever it may be, feel free to contact us on the main page of our website at mariacreative.co or you can contact us via Instagram or Facebook. You can text us, email, call, direct message, all the usuals, and we'll do our best to get back to you as soon as possible. We do appreciate your patience, though. Over the last weekend, we've had, I think on Friday, we had 10 times our average sales. On Saturday, we had five times our average sales. And on Sunday, we had four times our average sales. So we're still, we're quite a bit more behind than we normally would be so that five day lead time might look more like seven or eight days but we're going to be working on communicating with you guys if there's lead times and those things are delayed so we appreciate your guys's patience when we're working on dealing with questions and the like because it's just been pretty crazy here with the sale uh if you think we deserve it a good review can really go a long way to help us a good review on the podcast and whatever app you're listening is really meaningful and also a good review on the product goes a long way people really read reviews actually it means a lot to people so if you like the product and you want to leave us a review go to murdycreative.co on facebook so facebook.com slash murdycreative.co or you can type it into the search bar on the left hand side there's a reviews button you click on the reviews and then it says do you recommend the murdy creative company you click yes and then you can write your review alternatively if you just want to read our reviews you can go to facebook.com slash murdy creative.co slash reviews and all of them are there and you can read them all and they're all very encouraging each of the reviews um, i share with the team we post them we have them so that everyone can see them and it's really motivating for us as we we work through making new stuff so we really appreciate all of you who've left reviews Word of mouth is still the best form of advertising, though, so please tell your friends about this. And if you want to be part of it, uh, we have a new referral program. All you need to do is sign up to be a member on the website. You just click sign in at the very top. Once you sign in, there's a little rewards button on the bottom left hand side of your uh, your screen. You just click on that. There's a referral area where you can get a copied link that you can share to people. If you refer someone, they automatically get five dollars to spend on their first purchase. And once they make their first purchase, you get a five dollar in-store credit gift card. So that's great. That referral program also allows you to earn rewards, I think, up to five percent on every single one of your purchases. So you can redeem those points in the future and be able to buy new things at a lower price. So that's an amazing program and really word of mouth is still huge. So please tell your friends. It really means a lot to us. If you're looking for uh, a specific podcast topic that you want to hear more about, something I don't, you don't think I've covered, I'd love to tell you more about the back end of our, our company. So let me know about what you're interested in. I love doing podcast topics and coming up with a new one all the time is a little tricky. So definitely feel free to ask questions about what you'd like to hear more about and I'll go more into detail on those. If you're looking for multiple binders for gifts, giveaways, menus, really any reason, ask about our book discounts available. It applies to our entire product line. And if you have five of one thing, five of another, five of another, that all adds up to be the discount as if you ordered 15 of one thing. So definitely feel free to order a bunch of things, a bunch of different things, and uh, get that collective bulk discount. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Have a great day and goodbye.